everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I need to address something before I begin this video. First of all, I am slightly ill, my throat is hurting and I don't know why over the past couple of days I've had like, I don't know, I've been ill. I'm not sure what it is, I'll try and figure it out. Um, but also it's making my skin really itchy, my head is really itchy and I'm not gonna itch it because that's just gonna make it worse. So yeah, that's why I'm not wearing any foundation on my skin or any kind of products on my actual skin on my face because I don't want to aggravate anything by using makeup and my skin like is so itchy and the texture of it is not great. Usually my skin is perfectly fine, it's getting better as I get older but I don't know what's happened. Since I got ill the other day, my whole body is just itchy so... I'm sorry um, if that's too much information for you, but I just thought I would address that at the beginning of this video and I'm just going to be real, this is what's happening right now. So if you can see my face and it doesn't look too great, then that is why, I am very sorry about that. But I thought that today I wanted to film a body shop video and I wanted to do my current body shop favourites. I still wanted to film this video despite the fact that I am actually still ill, so my voice might sound a bit weird and also... Um, you know what's going on with my face i just wanted to film it because i had this scheduled in for today and if it's scheduled into my planner then there's a high chance that i will do it and there's not much that will stop me so <laughs> we're gonna film this video anyway i am not going to be using any skincare products that i would normally use on my face the only things that i'm going to use is a cleanser to cleanse my face i won't be wearing any makeup daily because of this whole skin thing and also i will just be moisturizing at night and not using any of my normal products so although i'm saying that these body shop products are like my current favorites and that i'm using them currently i was using them currently like two days ago and then i got ill and then something happened with my skin so i don't know what's going on but i will update you on that like next week or the week after or whenever I don't know but this is like the products that I was using before two days ago when I got ill so basically these are my current favorite products that I'm using from the body shop I am using other products from them as well but I wouldn't necessarily class them as like favorite favorites so I've just not included those but we have got a good lineup of products need some water oh yeah if you are wondering I have done my eyebrows and a little bit of mascara but that's it so product number one, this is a makeup product. This is the Body Shop All-in-One Five Action Perfector. It's the Insta Blur Primer, by the way. And basically, I have actually said quite negative things about this in the past. And the fact that when you actually open the tube and you get some product out, it kind of like goes everywhere, all over the floor. And I don't know if that's just my fault, but that's just what happens. And also I kind of find it quite hard to apply onto my skin, which is still true. I do find it quite hard to apply um, and rub in. But actually, I think there is definitely a place for this product in my makeup routine. Quite recently, my skin has been a bit oilier, not sure why. And basically, I don't like my skin to be super shiny when I've got my makeup on. I like it to be shiny when I've just put my skincare products on it in the evening, but not when I've got my makeup on. So I use this to mattify my skin and it really does that. It like fills in your pores and just makes your skin look really smooth, which is hilarious because my skin is not looking like that right now. It's actually the worst it's been in terms of, well actually it's not the worst it's been because I used to have acne, but it's the worst it's been in like six years. But yeah, I like this. It fills your pores in, smooths your skin over, mattifies the skin, it's super soft. And yeah, I do actually quite like this. Next up, we have some skincare products. So this is the Body Shop Lemon Purifying Face Wash. I've mentioned this many times in a haul in my, I don't know, favorites for February or something like that. I've mentioned this a lot. I really love this product. It's super softening to the skin and hydrating and it foams up really nicely. It feels like it's really cleansing your skin and like cleaning and getting dirt out as well as softening at the same time, which is why I would place this as like one of my all time favorite cleansers that I've ever used. And it is like a more newer product to the Body Shop. So yeah, I really love that. Then we have this. This is the Body Shop CBD Restoring Facial Oil. I also really like this. I like my skin to feel really hydrated and glowy and like I've got a billion products on it before I go to sleep so that I wake up in the morning with nice plump soft skin. This contributes to that. I really like how soft my skin feels after I've used this and I just like to use oils in general in my skincare routine. Won't be using this until I fix my skin though because I'm not gonna use any other product apart from a moisturizer until I fix my skin. But yeah, I have been using this before that. Also, just 
just in case anyone feels like commenting that maybe um, my skin thing is to do with a new product I've used. I haven't used any new skincare products over the past like few months and the only new things I've used is the makeup from Shop Miss A and a new shampoo but I've used that shampoo in the past anyway um, so I'm just not sure what it is. I don't think it's related to anything new that I've tried but I just thought I'd let you know in case you was wondering oh maybe I have tried something and it's like reacted my body's reacted to it. Next skincare product is this. This is the Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Essence Lotion. Essence lotions aren't something that I'm going to be bringing back into my skincare routine when this has run out because I don't really see a purpose for them. A lot of people say that essence lotion helps your moisturizer to absorb into your skin quicker, but I just think that's a load of nonsense. I'm not sure if that's true. Like, just, I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Dislike this video if you dislike what I say. Just saying. Um, because I don't care if you dislike the video. If anything, it just boosts my video in the algorithm. So go ahead and dislike it. But anyway, I don't know why we went onto that rant. What was I on about? Oh yeah, this product here. Um, but yeah, I do actually really like this. Although it's not something I would repurchase in the near future or anything similar to this, it is something that I do quite like. It makes my skin look really glowy and really soft. It's like a mixture of kind of like water and oil. So before you use it, you have to give it a good shake. It is coming to the end, um, as you can see. But yeah, I do quite like this and it does make my skin feel really nourished. I think if you have an oil in your routine like this one, you don't really need this product. But if you're a big lover of using oils in your like skincare routine, then that would be a good one to go for. Then for skincare, we also have the Vitamin E Skin in Moisture Sleeping Mask. I wanted to include this because I do use this quite regularly. Well, I say regularly. I use it like one or two times a week. I tend to use this when I don't wear makeup throughout the day just to make my skin super soft. So if I'm not wearing makeup in the day, I will pop this on. And yeah, it does make my skin so soft and... I do try not to touch my skin through the day and I'm certainly not touching my skin now throughout the day with this whatever's going on. You probably can't see it that well on the camera but trust me it's not good. Um, but yeah, I really like this. Super soft. If you've got dry skin this will be perfect for you and I think it's for all skin types. Yeah, it says it's for all skin types. Obviously it says it's an overnight mask. I just happen to use this during the day instead when I don't wear makeup but yeah, really love this. And then we have one face mask. So I've actually made an entire video about body shop face masks. I will try and link it in the description if you are interested in watching that because I have tried like literally all of them nearly. Like there's literally two that I've not tried. And I've only got one in my collection at the minute. I've run out of the Himalayan charcoal one, which is a really good one as well. And that will be in an empties video coming probably next month. And yeah, I don't have any others in my collection. I will repurchase maybe some more in the future, but I have actually got quite a lot of face masks. I sell my own. I've recently been sent one to um, review in a sponsored video. And yeah, I have got face masks just only happen to have one from the body shop but this is the NICU Agu and Coffee Intense Awakening Mask and I was umming and ahhing as to whether to include this but I thought you know what Josh you actually do really like using this product I love the smell of it I've always loved the smell of coffee I haven't always loved like drinking coffee but I kind of got myself into it like for one day I just decided I wanted to start drinking coffee in the morning like an energy boost and it's one of those things where if you keep drinking it, it becomes a habit and then, you know, not an addiction, but it just feels like you want it in the morning now. So yeah, I like coffee now. And that's a long story, I don't know. Also, my favorite cake is coffee cake. Um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It makes my skin really soft and glowy, which I think is amazing considering it's like coffee. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I also like the fact it's got like little scrubby bits in it which means that when you use it, you can kind of slightly exfoliate the skin as well. I absolutely can't think of anything worse that I wouldn't want to put on my skin right now because, <laughs> oh God, like this and scrubby bits on this skin is not is not gonna go well. Um, so I'll have to wait until my skin's better if it gets better, hopefully it does, fingers crossed, touch wood. Um, but yeah, really like that one. 
Now, for kind of like body care type favourites, I have this one, which is the Zesty Lemon Body Yogurt. Now, I'm pretty sure that this was limited edition and that they don't have it anymore, which is quite sad because this is an absolute winner. Like, that whole range was so nice. Um, I think they do now have a lemon range because the cleanser is part of that range, but I'm not sure if they've got this actual product in there. Please let me know if they do. I should be the one letting you know. Like, I should know this information or research it at least. But we have a body yogurt and i really love it it is getting to the end i use it probably three times a week i don't use it all over my body because i'm trying to savor this product because it is limited edition and it just is a really great product i just pop it around my neck area twice a week and yeah i really like the smell of it that's the main thing that draws me to this product is the smell blends in really nicely and yeah it is just mainly the smell of lemons we then have this which also i have mentioned thousands of times on my channel recently since i got this and this is the mango bath blend it's a hydrating bath foam now i did actually do a little haul of this product and i said that a little goes a long way that it creates nice bubbles and a nice smell and color to your bath and someone commented saying that which i don't you know i'm not disagreeing with their comment necessarily but they commented saying that she had to use nearly the whole thing for her bath and it didn't create any bubbles and there wasn't a smell that lasted a long time well you know i don't know if some people just want to be negative because like the whole thing do you know what i mean like that would really make quite a lot of bubbles i think a little just go a long way personally for me like i don't know if it's just my parents bath that makes the bubbles you know get created but yeah i really like this and the smell does last my entire bath time which is like 40 minutes sometimes an hour um i do you know recently um stay in the bath for like 25 minutes now but i have been known to stay in the bath for like an hour so yeah i do actually disagree with her comment um but you know people experience things differently and yeah i really love this and for the reasons that i've just stated basically um so yeah try it for yourself but i really do love this and i'm gonna get the other scents because uh you know sometimes when it comes to products you cannot listen to somebody else's opinion um for example you can't listen to mine necessarily because that's my experience maybe i'm just more positive than i should be like maybe i look for the positives in things too much and that is true i do always look for the positives in situations and in things and in products um so sometimes you have to you know think for yourself but also sometimes people are overly negative about things because i don't know they're feeling negative and they you know push their negative energy into everything that they do and what they talk about so just bear in mind that some people when they speak about things and products and anything they may be overly positive or overly negative so just judge things for yourself i think that's just easier we just went off on a tangent i don't know what's going on today this video is an absolute shambles final product is this though this is the lime and matcha hair and body mist actually did that woman also say she didn't like these either I don't know um anyway hopefully she's not watching this video i doubt it because she probably doesn't like my channel anymore um but this is the um but yeah this is a hair and body spray i do actually spray this in my hair after i've washed it and the smell does last really nice and i also obviously spray it on my body as well every day love the smell of this one would highly recommend it's also great for travel because it's not made of glass so if you drop it it's not going to shatter everywhere or break anything it's plastic i like this it's 150 ml it's a decent price and i am going to try some of the other scents that they do i think the selling point for this is that the smell does last on you which i think with perfumes and things that's what you want you know it's great you know smelling something nice for two seconds but if it only lasts two seconds then what's the point in you know purchasing the product I like this and i would recommend so that is it for my current favorite body shop products they're the ones that i'm currently kind of using or was currently using before my skin decided that it didn't like me anymore but i will update you on that situation next um video hopefully next week my skin will be a lot better um we will see i'm not sure what's going on Sorry, did you hear that? That's a motorbike. But anyway, I just wanted to get another body shop video in because I know that a lot of you like watching these ones. So thank you for watching. Apologies for this messy video. I know it is a bit messy and my skin is not good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.